And we welcome you back to Africa 54, where Zimbabwe is trying to change its politically tarnished image through tourism, but not, not only attracting tourists, but big business too. It is now my own and pleasure to declare Tanganai, Tanganani World Travel and Tourism Africa Fair 2013 officially open. Zimbabwe's quest to be seen as a viable tourist and business destination is slowly being realized. Sanganai and Tlanganani, which matches local and regional exhibitors and international buyers, follows another tourism achievement in August. The country then co-hosted the 20th UN World Tourism Organization's General Assembly with Zambia in Victoria Falls. At the start of Sanganai, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon congratulated President Robert Mugabe and his ZANU-PF party on his re-election, despite criticism of the process by the United States, Britain and others. Karikoga Kaseke heads the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority, which organized Sanganai. It shows that uh, uh, Zimbabwe is slowly coming back into the uh, fold, slowly coming back into the international community. I'm here now in Zimbabwe for the trade fair. For us, it's important to have to find no new markets, new adventure. About 100 international buyers attended the fair, scouting the various products and services showcased by an estimated 1,400 exhibitors. Kaseke says the two-day event is growing and was expected to generate more than the $250 million it grossed last year. Despite gains in the industry, Kaseke says Zimbabwe still trails South Africa and Kenya. Officials admit that Zimbabwe still suffers from an image problem following controversial farm seizures, allegations of election fraud and human rights abuses. Walter Mzembe is Zimbabwe's tourism minister. The fight on perception management is very critical. Uh, we have to win it. We have to fight images with images. And our voice must be heard. While their primary focus is on attracting tourists to visit some of the country's historic sites and popular game parks, officials say they are also working on becoming a destination for conventions under a concept called MICE, short for meetings, incentives, conferences and exhibitions. A big part of Sanganai's opening day was a business forum conducted by experts on MICE. Kaseke says Zimbabwe was once a highly rated MICE destination, but it now ranks near the bottom following its political fallout with the international community. We are just like reinventing uh, the mass tourism or re-establishing the mass tourism that uh, we used to do very well in. Tourism Minister Mzembi says they are working to have a National Conventions Bureau in place by March 2014 that will enable Zimbabwe to scout and secure rights to hold international meetings as well as promote travel. We have two major conferences in the kit already. The Roots Africa Summit, which is a conglomerate meeting of African national allies in June next year and uh, the Africa Blood Transfusion Congress in August. As negative perceptions of Zimbabwe persist, Tendai Madzuanyika of the Zimbabwe Tourism Group stresses the importance of Zimbabwe owning its industry and selling itself. The main aspects that I think are critical, which is the people, with the most friendly people, the culture, the wildlife, and some of the other attractions and so forth. And I'm saying that what we probably want to do is to now activate the brand in a holistic manner and make sure that we understand that tourism is actually the gateway, it's the face, it's the mouthpiece for the rest of the economy. Now, Zimbabwe's tourism officials say they also plan to revise visa requirements and improve the national airline, Air Zimbabwe, to boost tourism.